Greetings to everyone. As you can see, we are on the home page of the GPAT test series by Pharma State Academy. We are going to teach you with the help of this video how you can take part in all these tests. As you can see, the first test is going to be free of cost, while the rest of them are priced at 11 rupees each. So these are all the tests. And if we go to mock test one, it says to log in or register to participate. And you can see the title says GPAT mock test one. And you can get to know how many attempts do you have. If you have to pay anything for this test, number of questions, the time durations and the marking pattern. And this is basically the quiz window, or I should say the test window where all the questions are going to pop up. In order to take part in this free test, you have to log in. If you have your credentials, you can simply put in your email and then your password and you can check on Remember Me and log in. And if you do not have any account, you can create one. You have to put your first name, your last name, username, email, mobile number, organization, designation, department, highest qualification or experience. And you can set a password and then simply register. As I already have an account, I'm simply going to put email that goes and then I'm going to put my password which I cannot tell you then I'll just click on remember me and I'll log in as you can see if I just scroll down to the bottom the option to start this particular mock test one has appeared and I can simply take part but what if if there was a paid test how are you going to take part in that so now that we are on this page as you can see we are currently logged in with an account it says GPAT mock test 2 and this test is priced at a minimal cost of rupees 11 only with two attempts, 125 questions and three hours of time limit. And the marking pattern for this is as mentioned here. And if I tap on pay now, a window will appear that says that it is priced at rupees 11 and I'm going to have to enter my phone number. Once I add my phone number, I'll tap on to proceed and it will pop up with all the payment methods. I can select either of them and it will also generate a QR code that is going to be valid for a certain time limit. Now I'm going to scan this QR code and pay through UPI. Once the payment has been done, a pop-up will show that the payment has been successful and it will redirect you back to the window. Now again a pop-up will appear confirming your payment. You can tap on OK and the page is going to refresh. Now you will be able to take part in this test as it says start. Now this basically is the part where you are going to attempt the test. And you are going to see all the questions right in front of you. I'm going to skip these questions and I'm going to respond blindly to most of them just to show you. So please do not mind if I score low or if I'm not able to pass this test. As you can see that the test has ended. Now it is going to compute and compile all the results. It is basically calculating your scores. You just have to wait for a bit and it is going to show you the number of correct answers, the wrong answer count and the skipped questions. You can basically restart the quiz or you can simply scroll down to see what are the questions that you have attempted right or attempted wrong and the number of questions that you have skipped. Now if you just refresh the page, now when the page has been refreshed, you can simply scroll down to the bottom and you can see the leaderboard that is going to tell you your position with your name and your score. Also the time duration you have taken to complete the test. If you go to scores, you are going to see the global average score, your best score, your leaderboard rank and your progress chart. And if you go to attempts, you are going to see the quiz name and when exactly did you start it, what is the duration, your score and certain details. And you can also get to know the quiz payments that you have made so far with the payment date and the amount and the type or the mode of payment with the help of which you have made the payment. So this is all about it. 
I hope everything is clear and with this you can prepare GPAT with us.